okay uh, the poem starts with the lines uh, april is the cruelest month breeding lacks out of the dead la- dead land mixing memory and desire stirring dull roots with spring rain so why it is cruel april is cruel cruelty because that everything is dead that means uh, no chance for any any uh, prosperity or no chance for any uh, optimism but in that time april gives us some inspirations uh, some sorts of uh, uh, optimism uh, this is the cruelty that contrast uh, thing you know that that contrast situation that is a cruel that is very cruel usually april is a joyful month in england you know of fresh life uh, and uh, everywhere birds return after their stay in the warmer countries of the south so wherever we can see the uh, signs of uh, happiness you know um, severe winter closing of severe winter and the birds will uh, return to this land and at the time of the severe winter the word birds uh, may be with us here but it will return migrated it has migrated to somewhere else and returned it to the uh, home country but the renewal of spring renewal of the spring seems to be the revival of pain revival of pain spring uh, and uh, it is the su- season of summer april starts with the season of summer memories are stirred and desires are roused that's all the uh, important things what's happen in the april memories are stirred and desires are roused if the waste land stands for a state of numbness of the spirit you know that waste land what's the waste land it is the burial or burial of dead so it is a sterile land numbness of the spirit april is a cruel influence stirring it out of its uh, prestige <laughs> once again even the dead also uh, optimist about that is the month of april that is the cruelty of april um Eliot gave this section the name burial of the dead why it has given the name burial of the dead the section begins with the words april is the cruelest month why april is the cruelest month because it give inspiration even to the dead people that is the cruelty dead you know that they lost everything oh, oh, oh they lost every optimistic uh, situations but the april gives them some sorts of inspiration that is the cruelty of april so optimistic about the month of april and regenerative life giving a season of spring turning it on its head we know that life giving this season is life giving Chaucer's poem also starts with, you know, that uh, Canterbury Tales, the famous poem of uh, Chaucer. That also starts with uh, uh, this kind of an optimistic mood. Uh, also starts in the same mood. Inform the audience that this is going to be a dark poem. Starts with optimism, but uh, while reading the poem, uh, the uh, readers will get an idea that this is going to be a dark poem likewise the wasteland also the same mood is creating the episode scenes in line first through 18 lines are there the first section 18 lines are there discuss the natural cycle of death that discuss the natural cycle of death which is symbolized by the passing of the season while passing of the season see passing of the season means the natural cycle of death 
likewise uh, um, starting of life and uh, 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 childhood and uh, adolescence adulthood and uh, age old and that that is the cycle of uh, life uh, likewise the cycle of season also the first season sorry the first seven lines employ images of spring such as breeding lilacs etc images of spring dull roots with the spring rain why it is called dull roots with the spring rain because the spring rain causes for the roots to be dull sterile but when uh, summer uh, is coming that uh, clearly change in line 8 eliot tells the reader summer surprised us why summer is sur surprising us coming coming over the uh, stanberg sea stanberg sea you know summer surprised us coming over the stanberg sea what is stanberg sea it is the name of a lake in the south of munich germany so that sea also uh, full time at the time of winter season that soul um uh, frozen but when summer is coming uh, the frozen sea will melt out and uh, water will uh, begin to flow again and that is why summer surprised as coming over the stanberg sea okay you got the idea stanberg sea a lake south of munich germany the world war first had fairly recently ended at this time the world war first had fairly recently ended germany was one of the main opponent of allied forces you know you have you, you might have studied in history the world first war first germany japan and uh, one more uh, team was there they were they were in uh, opposite side and the us england were in uh, in allied force and so england their opponent was germany so german germany was one of the main opponents of allied force why eliot gave the name of summer surprised as coming over the stanberg sea a lake from germany because in order to not the world for world war first and its frozen uh, stage that's a, a stage of debt in order to depict that he used the name of stan stanberg sea you know and for that he used the the name of stanberg sea a lake from germany in order to uh, just note the uh, dead events or dead ha happenings or dead actions of german germany okay dear students from the starting of the poem itself you might have got some ideas of the political and uh, uh, religious um, connections of this poem uh, it, it was at the time of world war first uh, all the causes um, of uh, these kinds of destruction and great death was caused by germany so the eliot here um, uh criticize germans uh main reason for all destruction and that's why uh, stanberg sea it is a great image here stanberg sea uh, just uh, um not germany as the main reason for all destruction the dead burial of dead that is the uh, uh, name given to the first section burial of the dead Uh, who is responsible for this burial uh, for this death for uh, for this destruction that's all germany that it is a clear picture we will get from this first section itself so my advice to you go and read the poem and while reading uh, the poem in the same way 
you may get some idea about it okay uh, thank you all